So Amber, you arrived last night and tell everybody what the experience was, where you stayed and... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's beautiful here. The, the grounds are just so tranquil. And I came and um, Alba walked me around and showed me her property and I stayed in the cabin last night. So tell everybody what, what it was like to stay in the cabin. It's very cozy. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really peaceful place. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's special. Definitely and special. I have an outdoor shower. Oh yeah, I took an outdoor shower this morning <laughs> with the door open so I could see all of the trees yes. and the jungle around and it was lovely. Yes, yes. Yeah. And you don't have to take an outdoor shower when you stay here. There is an indoor shower, but um, you know, you could use the bathroom there too. We have, a, we have a compost toilet on the inside if you're adventurous enough to use that. But uh, then we had a Pandora Star light session. How did that go for you? Because you said that you have a very busy mind, very analytical mind, and it's always thinking. Yeah. How, did, how was that for you? It was very, um, I guess, calming for mm -hmm. me. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a lot of lights and things going on. <laughs> But I didn't find it disturbing at all. I thought it was kind of mesmerizing yes. and it, I just kind of relaxed into it yeah. and just breathed and it was nice. It was very relaxing. And then we had your session. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So did you have any expectations before coming here? I did. I mean, I was trying not to because <laughs> I know that's kind of the key. Yeah. But it seemed like when you see other people's videos that you know, at least a lot of them seem like they're having very vivid imagery, you yeah. know, and yeah. I was kind of expecting to have that too. That wasn't my experience. Um, my experience was more like I had impressions yep. Yep. and I had maybe words come to my mind mm -hmm. um, or maybe a bit of a snapshot of an image, but I did not have the like full blown color movie type experience. Yeah. But I think, you know, you're so good at figuring out how to pull the threads <laughs> of whatever little bit I was seeing or yes. knowing or experiencing and helping to kind of really draw that yeah. out and make the connection that needed to be made. Yeah. So I think even though I didn't have that type of experience where you see a lot of imagery and it's very vivid and, mm -hmm. you know, you're seeing in hearing full conversations or knowing exactly what's going on. I think I still got a lot out of it. You got a lot out of it. And there were times I know you were trying to give up on yourself. Yeah. Like I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. It's not <laughs> happening. And like, I wouldn't give up on you. No, you no, know, you like, didn't give up on like me. Like I'm in a blind place. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what does that blind place feel like? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you have to understand that when you come to me, I'm not going to give up on you. Whatever you throw at me, I'm going to, I'm going to go for it. Unless you're really resistant. And uh, there are clients who are very resistant who, who, won't follow my lead you know if I'm if I'm trying to get them to move along um, they'll just slam on the brakes and say you know it's not going anywhere yeah. but that that wasn't what you No, had. I mean at times I felt like I was stuck and like I didn't know how I was gonna get mm -hmm. to the next place or the next scene but I would think I was making it up that's how you it know feels. you really feel like you're telling a story that you're totally making up <laughs> But in the end, if you just go with it, yeah. you realize that it ends up like making a pretty profound connection yep. to your life. And I think that's probably pretty hard to make up. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I think in the end I wasn't making it up, but a lot of the stuff seemed so far fetched or, you know, maybe similar to what I've heard you know yeah. other people's experiences and you think like oh my goodness I don't know where to go with this so I'm just making <laughs> this up but in the end at least my dots connected yeah it because did. you helped <clears throat> them connect one of the things that is really important to understand is that imagination is the key to get in to that subconscious part of your mind you have to use your imagination and there are some people who teach don't use your imagination but how else would you do it that's the part of the mind that is coming up with all the imagery with all the information and nothing's going to come up in your imagination that isn't there that 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 isn't somewhere there 
Yeah. So um, my question is, why would you make that up? Yeah. Okay. So you do connect the dots, and it, it seems sometimes like, no, I can't be. Why? Why would I come up with this? But at the end, it does. Th there was one lifetime we explored in which uh, the 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 person who killed you is in this lifetime again as one um, trying to get you down too. So you mm -hmm. can see that people come into your life always for you to work things out in this lifetime. If you didn't get it in that lifetime, you get it in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what it's all about. This, this session will not be shared. There is a lot of personal information and, and most of my sessions now are like that. There's too much personal information that um, it just it's, it's like dirty laundry. You don't want to put out dirty laundry. Uh, it's about your family. It's about your friends. It's about people you work with. And you don't want to put stuff out li like that. Um, you know, it's like gossiping about them behind mm -hmm. their back or, or in public. So <laughs> my hair is like going crazy. <laughs> but anyway, that's why we don't put these sessions out. I know it's really fun to watch them, but not when it pertains to your family and your personal life. Uh, a lot of my sessions don't go out. That's why I'm only doing one a week now because they're stacked up weeks ahead of time. And even the ones that I have stacked up, sometimes the people will tell me, you know, I thought about it. Uh, no, take it off. So even, even if I have it queued up, sometimes they'll come back to me and say, uh, no, I, I changed my mind now. Please don't, please don't share it. So that's why I don't have that many. And now you understand why. Oh, yeah. 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 But this is a, 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 a different experience because what I like about the, the, um, the sessions here in Micanopy is that you really get to ground yourself after this. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have a place to go right now. You're absorbing this beautiful nature. You feel the breeze and the temperature is really perfect right now. Yeah, it's lovely. It's been really hot. But it, it, there was a rainstorm in the middle of, of your session, lots of thunder, and that did not bother you? Mm -mm. No. So, yeah, I, I would um, recommend that if the, session, the, the appointments open up, try to get over here instead of doing it online. I'm not doing that many online anymore. Um, maybe a few a month. Uh, I just think it's so important to, to experience this and at least make an effort to to take in some of this nature even if it's for a day mm -hmm. you know a few hours I think it really helps you get in the right state of mind so yeah it's, it's almost like a pilgrimage yes a little it bit, is you it know is. it is so yeah and yeah. Amber you have a, a, a business in which you're also helping people did, did you want to mm -hmm. share what you do and and what kind of work you do yeah yeah so um my business is helping kind of with the epidemic of childhood mental illness. Mm -hmm. We're really helping people help their children and their families take control of their health by teaching them how to get their body systems back into balance naturally, how to eat differently for things that suit them, how to get out toxins. There's just unfortunately so many poisons in our environment these days and most of us really don't know how to protect ourselves and our families and so a lot of it's education but we do a lot of medical testing and we kind of blend the best of conventional and holistic medicine um, to help really people regain their mental health and often like really serious chronic physical disorders that they've had for a long time and no, no doctors have been able to sort it out. Uh, we do a lot of comprehensive testing and work with people for 12 months um, to start to really wow. turn it around because it takes that long. I mean, if they've, you know, had severe issues going on for a long time, it, it's not yeah. overnight. So yeah. how old are the people that come to you? We have everybody from babies through 89 years old. Wow. So, you know, the parents started wanting it and then they told their families and then their uncles and then their parents. Wow. And so we, we kind of do the whole age range now. Wow. So where are you located? We are located in Rochester, New York. So, so how do they find you? Is there like a website or loca or yeah. YouTube channel or something? Yeah, there is a website. It's arbor, A-R-B-O-R dash health dot com. And you can find more information there. That, that, yeah, fabulous. So what did you think about your own healing method here today? Because, I mean, you're yeah. here to help other people, but 
healers much must heal themselves too. What did you think about that? Yeah, I mean, I really think there's so much in our world that's physical, but so much that's energetic. And I think that having the combination of the two can be, yeah. you know, very synergistic and really powerful. So, you know, if you've really struggled with yeah. either, you know, physical issues or emotional things that are hang ups or um, mindset issues where you're limiting your own self with your own beliefs, I think this type of um, therapy can be really eye opening and help you see things from a new perspective yeah. yeah all of it yeah all of it so um anyway i put out my newsletter once a month this is how you get a session with me the newsletter has in-person sessions it has a few online sessions i for those of you who are down under and i'm talking about australia and new zealand and new caledonia and also even hawaii i put out a, a special newsletter the day before I put it out to the whole world and those folks get sessions in the evening so there's a few sessions that I put out um, that I do just for those who are on a different time zone and then the next day that calendar will open up to the whole world uh, with a few more online sessions and the rest of the month for in-person sessions so you need to go to my website go to the link that says newsletter sign up for the newsletter it comes out once a month and you have to be really fast that's that's all i have to say um, they book within a few minutes and how was your experience yeah i mean i think i was trying for close to four years <laughs> I kind but I, of I didn't have a cabin then. No, no, you know, and I kind of just, you know, thought, well, that's it. I keep trying. My guides will get me in when it's time. And um, much to my utter shock, I was standing there one day and saw the email come in and just click, 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 click. And, you know, it yeah, was, it was gone in a second. But I, yeah. but you, gotta, you know, you have to try. I, I'd had one other time where I got that close. And by the time I got to the fill it in page, it was yeah. gone. But just keep trying, yeah. you know. And, and one of the things that really is amazing, because I, I leave it up to my divine timing, okay? My, my guides, your guides. Uh, there, there are changes in your life and changes in my life. And if we're not aligned at the right timing, uh, it's not going to happen. So, for example, something may have to happen in your life before you see me. And if you have it a certain time of life in a certain period of time you wouldn't have needed the type of work that I'm going to do for you and there are other times where I'm learning new skills all the time and as I learn new skills and 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 apply them maybe I didn't have the skills back then four years ago when you wanted a session with me mm -hmm. but now I do and this mm -hmm. is what you needed mm -hmm. does yeah. that make sense so uh, I always look at it it's divine timing and um, not have any expectations because your sessions are not what you think they're going to be right and they're exactly what they they should be when they get here so i, f I think that's what happened to you if if mm -hmm. you had expectations of it being something else uh it was it was different it, just things come up that you don't realize this caused this mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, enjoy the view. Uh, we certainly are. We're enjoying the breeze here. And I hope I get to meet you sometime in the future. And uh, look out for my newsletter in the fall. I'm going to start having gatherings here on my property again. It's too it's just too hot here to bring people over. It, you, you just melt within an hour. So once it gets cooler here, I'll start doing my gatherings uh, here in person. So you could come visit me and do that. Also, I have online gatherings over zoom and those are f a full day that's eight hours of jam-packed information and you you were in one of those gatherings mm -hmm. that was a full day of yeah full day yep yep and i also have my ancient solfeggio frequency sessions and those are i use a scalar wave machine which sends out um the scalar waves and then i will describe what uh frequency we're we're tuned into at that moment and I'll strike the tuning fork and it's really to align your chakras to balance your chakras and then we finish it off with a meditation so I hope you join me in one of those all right thank you for watching to the next one bye bye